Hey everyone. Um, we are still working on persuasive or opinion writing. Um, and we're doing another fun pigeon book. Before you watch this video, you need to go and make sure that you watch the story for The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. So if you have not done that yet, it is located in our Google Classroom slides. So if you haven't, hit pause and then go watch um, the read aloud for the story for that one. If you have already watched it, then you can stay here and we're gonna keep moving. Um, so what you're going to be doing um, this week Actually, well, this will be due Wednesday, um, so over the next three days, is writing about would you let the pigeon have a puppy or not, all right? Um, and remember, you do your writing in your journal if you have a journal, or you can do it on a blank sheet of paper and then upload it on Wednesday into Seesaw, all right? So just a reminder, we're gonna go over like how to um, sound out our words, and make sure that we are including our spaces and our capitalization and our periods and all of that. So, if you were to give, if you think the pigeon should have a puppy, okay, you would write, I would give the pigeon a puppy, okay? So, and we know when we write, we always start at the very top, Okay, we go from top to bottom and we stay in our lane. So I, and we know that we always start our sentences with a capital letter I. So we know, go down, Mr. I. I space would. So let's sound out would. Would. I hear three sounds, okay? So space. Uh, duh. Okay, now look, I did my space. My letters are staying within the lines. They're not coming down into the basement. They're not floating away, okay? And I don't have random capitalization, all right? I would get. Now get is one of our words that we should all know how to spell. All right, is get, G-E-T, so I would get the, and we know how to spell the because that's been one of our sight words. I'm going to come down here. Now look, make sure when you come to your next line that you're not writing in here. This is not a writing zone, unless we have a letter that goes down into the basement, you're gonna come hop down to your very next line. So I would get the pigeon. Now pigeon is his name, so we're gonna do a capital P, okay? Pigeon, and his name is spelled P-I-G-E-O-N, okay? So I would get the pigeon a space a now let's sound out puppy p uh p e i hear four sounds p p p now that's not the name of the puppy so it's not going to start with a capital all right it'll go down into the basement p uh puppy umbrella p uh p E. Okay, now is my sentence over? I would get the pigeon a puppy. Am I done? What am I missing? I'm missing the period, okay? All right, so that's what you're going to do. And then you're gonna keep writing and tell me reasons, at least three, why you think the pigeon should get a puppy, okay? If you say that I would not get the pigeon a puppy, it would look just like this, but in between would and get, you would write not. So it would be, I would not get the pigeon a puppy. And then tell three reasons why you think that the pigeon should not get the puppy, okay? So 
And I would say, I would get the pigeon a puppy, all right? And then tell three reasons why, or I would not get the pigeon a puppy and give three reasons why you would not, all right? So this is how we are doing it, and it will be due on Wednesday this week, not Friday, okay? It's due on Wednesday. You will take a picture of your writing sample that you have done in either in your journal or on a blank sheet of paper, okay? Um, we want to see you writing, not typing this week, okay? Write it and then upload it on Wednesday and then record yourself reading your writing piece, all right? So that's all for today. Um, like I said, I can't wait to see these on Wednesday. Would you give the pigeon a puppy? Yes or no? Bye, guys.